Hi everyone, welcome to How to Electronics. This is the PZEM0040 energy meter module that can measure voltage, current, power, energy, power factor, and frequency. In the last video, I made an IoT based electricity energy meter. The energy meter could also measure energy meter parameters and display the data on a web server dynamically. Today, we have a very advanced and highly upgraded version of this project. It's a prepaid energy meter. This is a beautiful dashboard for the prepaid energy meter. You can only log into this dashboard if you have a username and password. To recharge, you need to enter the payment amount here. Hence, the recharge is done. The dashboard will show you the prepaid balance, voltage, current, and power. Here, you can see the power status, fault status, theft detection system, and finally, the total energy consumed. You can turn the load on or off from here. In the account section, you can view your account balance and consumption rate and simply recharge from here. In the control section, the power control can be done simply by switching the relay on or off. This side shows the various system status. In the setting section, you can set the overvoltage threshold as well as the overcurrent threshold. You can set the theft detection current in case someone is using your electricity illegally. The billing settings will allow you to show the minimum balance threshold and cost per kilowatt hour. In case you want to reset everything, you have the option for a factory reset as well. On the reports tab, consumption reports and charts will be displayed. On the hardware side, I have added a TFT LCD display to view the energy meter data and do the data analysis. A push button has been added to change the TFT screen pages. Similarly, a relay has been added to control the load. I used a breadboard to assemble all these components. You can create your own custom PCB for this project. Well, this project is great for multipurpose applications. So watch this video till the end to get started. Welcome back again. First, let's take a look at the components required for the project. I have used an ESP32 Wi-Fi based microcontroller. The most important component is the ZEM0040 V3.0 energy meter module. For displaying, I used a 1.8 inch TFT LCD display, a 5 volt relay to control the load, a big push button, few jumper wires and connectors a breadboard or a custom-made PCB for assembly. Finally, use any of the load-like bulb or a CFL or an iron, whatever you have. Let's take a look at the schematic for this project. For the TFT LCD part, the connections are too many as it requires an SPI communication. I have connected the PZEM0040 energy module to the UART pins. The relay and switch are connected to the digital pin of ESP32. The energy meter module accepts AC voltage as shown here. The current sensor, which is an open type, connects to this pin of the PZEM0040 module. The load wire passes through the current sensor and is controlled via relay. I used a breadboard to assemble all the components together. This is an ESP32 module. The energy meter module is connected here. A relay has been used here too. A 1.8 inch TFT LCD display is connected via SPI pins. A push button is here. As per the schematic, the current sensor is connected to the PZEM module and with load across the relay. The AC input voltage is 120 volt, as I am in North America now. So that's all from the hardware part. Let's take a look at the coding part now. In this code, we use the PZEM0040 library for reading energy meter data. The Adafruit GFX and ST7735 library is for LCD display. For the IoT part, we are using ESP32 Wi-Fi and web server and also the Arduino ZSON library. 
For storing energy meter data, the EEPROM library is used. We defined the TX, RX pins of ESP32 here. These are the definitions of TFT LCD pins. The relay control pin and push buttons pins are defined here. These are the EEPROM addresses for storing energy meter data. You can set the over voltage threshold, over current threshold and theft current threshold here. Also balance, cost per kilowatt hour and default energy and balance can be modified here. This is the credentials to log into the web page. You may change the admin username and password here. Now just move down and here you see the Wi-Fi credentials. Replace the Wi-Fi SSID and password here. The rest of the code contains JavaScript, HTML, CSS and web server script. The code is more than 2500 lines long, so you may go through it, in case you want more detailed study. Now it's time to upload the code. Select ESP32 developer module from the board list. From the COM port list, select the right port. Now hit the upload button to upload the code. Once the code uploading is done, the system is ready for the test. The TFT LCD screen will show the boot message. Then it will try to connect to the Wi-Fi network. Once the connection is done, it will display the IP address of the ESP32. Currently, the power is off, so all the parameters shown here are zero. Now, when the power is turned on, the voltage, current, power, and energy appears here. It also shows balance and status. Press this button and it shows the threshold and other alert status values. As we already got the IP address, let's go to the web browser now. Here, enter the IP address and hit enter. The login page will appear. You need to enter the credentials here. The username is admin and the password is admin123. Here you go. This is a beautiful dynamic dashboard for the prepared energy meter. First, you need to recharge the energy meter. To recharge, you need to enter the payment amount here. Hence, the recharge is done. The home page dashboard shows the prepaid balance, voltage, current, and power. On this system status part, we can see the power status, fault status, theft detection system, and total energy consumed. You can turn the load on or off from here. In the account section, you can view your account balance and recharge it as well. This part shows the daily consumption rate in a graphical format. In the control section, the power control can be done simply by switching the relay on or off. On the right side, the various system status can be monitored. In the settings section, you can set the over voltage threshold as per your requirements. You can also set the over current threshold. In case someone tries to use your electricity illegally, you can set the threshold current here. This will alert you to the theft detection. The billing settings will allow you to show the minimum balance threshold and cost per kilowatt hour. In case you want to reset everything, you have the option for a factory reset as well. The factory reset process is irreversible and will erase everything from the EEPROM memory. On the reports tab, consumption reports and charts will be displayed. In the help section, you may modify the page in case you want to help users. Anyhow, you may modify the page as per your requirements. In order to turn on the load, switch on this button. Similarly, you may click the switch off button to turn off the relay. When the load is turned off, the current becomes zero. When the load is turned on, the current shows some values. The same thing can be observed from the mobile dashboard. But the sad part about the mobile dashboard is that you can only view the front page section. 
Still, you can view all parameters and control loads. Well, that's all from the project part today. The complete link for the code and project description can be found on our website article, which is DIY Projects Lab. You may go through the details and written tutorials for more information. For now, thank you so much for watching.